Okay, so you want to throw a professional match in your eSport. You think you'd be subtle about it so, you know, you don't get caught. But in this case, a professional Rocket League team threw a pivotal series on the fly mid-match. And because of that, the entire squad was dropped from their org, and Psyonix, the developer of Rocket League, investigated the situation and banned two players for an entire year. Okay, so if you're a fan of Don't At Me, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below telling us what kind of videos you want to see. It really helps us decide what content to make. Okay, now, let's get back to the controversy. So Team Esper are an Australian esports org with a Rocket League team that competes in the Oceanic Division of the RLCS. And over the weekend, they competed in a best of five series against Fury to determine who would make the upcoming playoffs. So keep that in mind, it's a high stakes series with a lot on the line. Team Esper coming in here for the last game of the regular season here before we head to playoffs. The game is ready. Let's get into it, Watson. I mean, we've had some great Rocket League today, and with a game five where so much is on the line, you could not ask for anything more. But then, Team Esper's captain and other player Frenzy decided to throw game five of that series. And because of that, the entire team was dropped from their org. Psyonix launched an investigation, releasing their competitive ruling on Tuesday, which states that both Frenzy and Delusion are banned from competing in any Psyonix sanctioned event for an entire year, and they have to forfeit their prize money from that series. So why the hell would Team Esper sabotage their own playoff chances? Well, here's the thing, because the RLCS standings are determined by how many games an individual team wins, and with the standings being so close, Team Esper had to beat Fury 3 to nothing or 3-1 in order to make the playoffs. So basically, if they lost two games, they were out of the playoffs. Team Esper won the first two games and things were looking good, but Fury managed to make a comeback and they won the next two games, which means Team Esper's playoff hopes, they were over. Of course, now, there are questions. It's it's how hard is Esper going to fight now that they're out? I mean, of course, they want to move up in the positions a little bit, fight for a little bit more cash, uh, of course. Uh, but the drive, the the drive to go to the playoffs, it's not really there anymore. So the question is, can they fight hard enough to still take the win here? But this series was important for another reason, because it decided the playoff fate of Team Renegades, who have been Team Esper's rivals all season. If Esper won the series 3-2 against Fury, it wouldn't matter. They weren't making the playoffs. But if they lost the series, it would give Fury 5th place in the standings and edge out Renegades who would also not make the playoffs. And so with nothing left to lose and their rivals' playoff hopes in their hands, Frenzy and Delusion decided to throw Game 5 of the series. Yeah, final game. Here's the kickoff. Only 5 minutes decided. Delusion! <laughs> the kickoff and it might be that Team Esper just don't want Renegades in playoff or he just missed his, his flip but it's looking like they're giving the win to Fury. I'm not sure if this is allowed. At first, casters Smite and Watson were naturally confused as to what was going on, but they pretty quickly realized some weird shit was happening when Team Esper missed multiple kickoffs and Delusion randomly sat in the corner before scoring on his own goal. Well, let's go along with the assumption that Esper is playing the best they can here as we continue the series. As you can see, they're passing it back. I mean, okay, okay. All right, I don't think we can assume anymore. So I've gone back and forth with both of them, and the biggest takeaway from Smite was the fact that this series was shaping up to be one of the biggest showdowns that the region has ever seen. And now, well, it's just ended with match fixing. And after scrubbing through the VODs, reading through chat logs, and talking with the tournament organizer, Psyonix released a competitive ruling on Tuesday. And the statement highlights their competitive integrity rule 7.2, which reads, quote, each player is expected to play to the best of his or her ability at all times during any match. Any form of unfair play is prohibited by these rules and may result in disciplinary action, end quote. What's important to note about Psyonix's ruling is that it states that Steve, the third member of Team Esper, had nothing to do with throwing Game 5 and therefore won't be punished at all. After Psyonix dropped their ruling, Delusion was obviously pretty pissed. I mean, he just got banned for an entire year. So he took to Twitter lashing out at Psyonix and the media for reportedly not sharing his side of the story. And the replies to that tweet? Well, people aren't buying it. Also, I DM'd him to talk to him for this story, and unfortunately, he never got back to me. On the other hand, the community reaction to this ban has been pretty positive, and a lot of people seem happy that Psyonix is taking a hard stance on the situation. 
As of right now, Team Esper has yet to release a statement, but hours after the series wrapped, they dropped the entire team without any mention of the allegations. And when I reached out to Team Esper, I managed to talk to the org's founder, a guy named Focus. He said that all of this has come out of nowhere and he's just as confused as everyone else. He also stated that, quote, the player agreements were drawing to a close and as a result, we let them go early to try to avoid Team Esper's name being tarnished in the process, end quote. And as far as throwing game five goes, he says that he only knows as much as the players have told him, which apparently isn't much. So the weird thing about this situation is usually when somebody decides to throw a match or a match fix, it's decided ahead of time. But after Team Esper lost the second game and they were out of the playoffs, it was this weird spur of the moment decision to throw game five and not only screw over Renegades, but screw over themselves, seeing as they've been banned for an entire year and they have to forfeit their prize money from that series. Now obviously, we've seen far more famous examples of match fixing in esports, often with money involved. But you can't underestimate how damaging this situation is to the competitive integrity of Rocket League. It's the whole reason Psyonix came down as hard as they did. And at this point, we don't know if Delusion or Frenzy are going to try to appeal their ban in any way, or even if they're allowed to. But we'll update you on this situation as we know more. I've been watching, literally got up at eight this morning, threw Twitch on, made coffee. Like I'm just doing everything I can to get the goddamn beta key and it's not happening for me for Valorant. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Like I was saying before, I was super intimidated by CSGO and Overwatch because there's just so much to learn and so much to pick up. Um, the, the, the fucking menus. The menus just, they're sublime, you know?